What's up, y'all? Good morning and happy new year. Welcome to another vlog. You in the past, I'm in the future. You, you, you mad, they don't salute you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Keila Trishan and I make videos on lifestyle, insurance, and mental health. I also do vlogs, Dana Life in the Insurance Industry, Dana Life with a Toddler. Um, I'm going to think of some other stuff this year. So if that is something that interests you, go on ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss anything from me. Um, if you are returning and you've been coming back, thank you so much for your support. All right, y'all. So this is the first vlog of the year. Um, how were your holidays? I hope that you guys had, if you celebrate Christmas or Kwanzaa or any of the other holidays, I hope you guys had a great holiday season. Hope you had a happy and safe new year. And, you know, we're just ready to get back at it. So um, I've been away for a couple of weeks. And that's just because of holiday season. Like I had a couple of things going on in my family. Um, not like, you know, overly bad, but not the best. Uh, so things were just kind of tricky. And then also I just really needed some like time to rest from everything. So that is what I did kind of, <laughs> I did host a uh, Christmas and new year's dinner at my house, which is fine. Like I don't mind doing that, but like the, those actual days leading up to it, I was just chilling. Work was, well, I told y'all like in the last vlog that work has been busy. It just got like crazy because um, I, I was telling you guys like some of the stuff that was going on at work like they had let go of some of the employees that were like helping us They were like like independent contractors that were helping us get our pending down So those claims that were still open were like transferred to us um, Outside of just you know the normal busy stuff. So yeah, it was pretty intense and it kind of slowed down around the holidays Which it usually does just you know people going on vacation Some things are on hold like some people just aren't available until after the holidays because they're going out of town and all of that so i was able to get a lot of things closed like i still have some items that need to be addressed but the good thing is i was able to get some things that were just lingering closed so that's pretty much what we are doing this week um you know just like going through things and trying to like tie up loose ends while still getting new claims now today i actually uh, have an inspection it is a uh, fire claim kind of sad because this guy's car caught fire and um it like the fire spread to his house he said there wasn't like much damage inside of the house um it sounds like it just sounds like it's to the exterior but he's in a situation where his car and his um home has been affected so i'm gonna go and inspect that today i reached out to a contractor yesterday to see if they could meet me there so i could just kind of do everything in one shot but that contractor didn't uh respond back to me yesterday so hopefully they can meet me or hopefully like, they respond today saying like, hey, sorry for the late reply, but I'll be there. If not, it's still not a big deal. I'll go and inspect it myself, get the measurements that I can, and then send a contractor out there, um, you know, at another date. Again, because it's the exterior of his home, it doesn't sound like the inside is affected. Like, he, it's still livable. I, I have, like, a little bit of time. So, and let me apologize for my blinker being on, y'all. I know that'd be annoying. When I go back to edit, I'm like, oh, it's loud. But anyways, um, yeah, I just want to kind of, you know, take y'all through a day. Show y'all what's going on, let you know what the new year holds. And yeah, I'll be back shortly to kind of update you on that inspection and just like what I have going on today. Hey, you guys. So I'm just getting back to the house. I've been back like 10 minutes or so, uh, but I just logged into work and, you know, same thing. I just check and see what's going on. So the first thing I do is like check my emails just to see like what came in overnight. And, you know, not much. I had just like a couple of um couple of updates. So I emailed a couple of people before I logged out and they responded back just with the answers to what I needed or uh like updated estimates. So that's good. Then I just logged into my uh like claims area. Like every insurance company has like a desktop area where you see like your work for the day. So um I like to go there because I want to see kind of what's going on. Like did I get any approvals overnight? Did any mail come through? That kind of thing. So I do have some mail that came in overnight for a fire claim that has been open since like August of last year. It's pretty much done. I was just waiting for a cause and origin report uh, from one of our vendors. And that has been taking forever. Like they completed their inspection and all of that, but the report has been taking a long time. So since it's like the week after or actually the week of the holiday, like I follow up with people, but then I try to give them a couple of days because I, I know what it's like, you know, coming back into the office after being off. 
like you don't really want to do nothing. You just trying to like move in and stuff. And I hate those people that like hit you up like first thing in the morning right after the holiday. Like, so any update? Like, nah, ain't no update. I just logged in. Like, give me a chance, you know? So I try to be that person. I give them a couple of days. But today's Thursday. So there are a couple of things that I am going to have to follow up on. Like, hey, have you had a chance to look at this? Whatever, just so I can get it going. There is one in particular that I'm trying to get off my desk ASAP because this one's also been open since August. I didn't get it until um, like mid-September, but it's a public adjuster claim. And we ended up, <sighs> what happened with that one? Oh, we had to do like some additional investigation because we thought that um, basically the customer had purchased a house and had a loss like maybe a couple of days after. So it seemed like it was something that probably happened during like the purchasing of the house, like basically before their um, before their uh, policy started. So we had to do like all this investigation. That took like a month to determine that, you know, the claim was in line. So then, of course, I got it back. We had to send out vendors to go and prepare estimates and all that. We did that. And then they came back, of course, with an estimate that was like $100,000 more. So I'm pretty much trying to get that resolved. I had to send out a cabinet vendor, a flooring vendor on that one. And um, I'm just waiting for the cabinet vendor to get me back their information so I can just kind of be like, hey, this is what we're paying you. Close claim. So, yeah, you know, I got a few things going on. But again, like I don't feel as like stressed as I was like, a month ago. If things have like kind of, I don't want to say died down because we still have plenty of work, but things have kind of like leveled off to where I was able to have the holidays be that downtime that I needed to get, um, you know, some estimates that were lingering out of the way and just kind of close up some loose ends on claims that were just, that I just couldn't get to. So yeah, my inspection is at 1030 um, and it's pretty far. So I'm, I'm going to map it actually shortly and just see how long it's going to take me. I mapped it yesterday and it said it was going to be like an hour and 15 minutes, but that was like during a non-peak time. So since it's the morning time, I want to see what traffic is looking like and then go from there. That's how, you know, kind of determine what I'm going to do. But yeah, anyways, anyways, um, I'll get back with y'all probably when I leave that inspection, I'll get back with you guys and let you know like how it went and what's going on for the rest of the day. that inspection it was extremely quick like there wasn't even that much damage and honestly it's like to a point where we might not even meet his deductible and if we do meet his deductible it might just be like a little bit over so he was saying that he doesn't even know if he was going to go through with filing the claim um i told him i'd prepare an estimate i would uh, have a contractor come out and then he's gonna have a contractor come out and we'll go from there but yeah it's like just not that much damage so Anyway, it was a fire claim. I don't know if I was telling you guys about it earlier. I can't remember. So this is a repeat, my bad. But um, the guy's car caught on fire in front of his garage. So it pretty much just caused like exterior damage. It's like some damage to the fascia by the roof. There's like a couple of roof tiles that look like they may have soot on them, like not actual char, just soot. And then like the garage door has a couple of windows blown out and um, it looks like some of the pieces were melted. So we'll likely just have to replace that. Uh, but nothing major, nothing major at all. So that's it. I'm gonna go back home and um, you know upload the pictures and write up my report and all that. Again, I was trying to have a contractor come out with me, but I couldn't get anybody to come on such short notice. And this particular part of town, we don't have a whole lot of contractors. so. I'm gonna just have to reach out to somebody and see what they can do. But the customer said he's gonna have his contractor come out to and prepare him an estimate. So we'll just go from there. But what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the car is definitely a total loss. I used to work in total loss also. Like if you guys remember, if y'all are like OGs, oh, when I first started doing these videos, I was working in a total loss position, working from home. I didn't go out on inspections then, but I've done total loss. So I already kind of knew, you know, like what that process was. So I kind of explained that to him. Like, you know, you'll get a call from somebody eventually um just kind of with like numbers for your car so yeah that is it and that is all um oh also i got a call from a customer i need to call somebody else back too that called me yesterday but i just really didn't have the mental capacity to speak to this guy um and he's not like mean or anything it's just like there's nothing really left to do on his file he's an older man and he just wants to talk 
like all the time like oh what's going on like there's nothing we paid you but this other gentleman called and I'm kind of glad that I was able to take that call within like the little 15 minutes that I had before I walked up to this particular inspection I was able to answer his questions and just get it out of the way like him and his wife they um, reach out periodically with like just a lot of different types of questions not bad but like they're just trying to understand the process and you know a lot of times especially these days I don't have time to just be sitting on the phone like that but I also have to be cognizant that people just don't know the process so they need help so I was like look I got 15 minutes so go ahead and shoot so I got all his questions answered I told him shoot me an email you know just kind of with a recap of what he wants me to look into because I'm on the road and he said cool that was it and that was all on that but yeah by the time I get home it is going to be like about 15 to noon so I'll have like 45 minutes or so to kind of do some um you know like notes and stuff and then I'm going to clock out for lunch so yeah I'ma just enjoy this drive listen to some music and I'll see you on a little All right, y'all, so I am back home, finally. Um, I've been home for maybe like 15 minutes and I just need to set up and address some emails that came in when I was on the road. So I took care of those. One of them was a gentleman that I'd already talked to. He was just kind of recapping what we talked about, like I asked him to. And then um, I got a letter of representation for one of my customers that got a public adjuster, so that should be fun. Uh, I need to put together an acknowledgement for that, order a certified copy of the policy, all that jazz. I'll probably do that after lunch. And then I started my lunch, actually. Um, I had some frozen fried rice that I got from Whole Foods. It helps me when I'm in a pinch and I don't have anything prepared. So I went on ahead and got that out. I'm heating that up right now. So when it's time to go to lunch, I can just eat because I am starving. And yeah, I got to upload my pictures and do my inspection note for the, um, the claim that I went to take a look at today. So yeah, I'm going to go on ahead and just work on that stuff. I have about like 10 minutes before I need to clock out. So I'm gonna try to just get as much as I can done in that little 10 minutes, take an actual break, eat, and then get back to it. What's up y'all? So I am back from lunch and I'm gonna just be honest. I really don't feel like doing shit today. It's Thursday. It's right after New Year's, like New Year's is Monday. And you know, I, I think I'm just still in holiday mode. Like, you know how you feel like you could have just used a few more days off? That's kind of how I feel. Like I am going to get some work done, but I'm just sitting here like, I don't want to do none of this. Like I don't want to, I don't want to do none of it. But anyways, all right. So I'm logged back in, just got back from lunch. And um, the emails that I got right before I logged out, I have a gentleman that um, I closed his claim like a couple of months ago, but um, his contractor is trying to get the money that we said we weren't going to pay. His contractor basically charged him all that money. And what people don't understand is this. So um, we prepare an estimate based on what we know is owed based on your policy, right? You can have a counter estimate. And a lot of times with contractors, especially if they don't work with insurance, they're putting like things in there that the insurance company doesn't consider. For example, uh, this is a landlord property. So there were like some upgrades in the estimate that the contractor was trying to justify. And what I was trying to, you know, get through to them is like, I understand doing a remodel because like if everything's already open, you may as well do whatever changes you need to do. But when we're dealing with insurance, it's very specific. We're only responsible for items that pertain to the loss. Anything outside of that, you need to pay for separately. So I, you know, did my due diligence. I prepared, you know, updated the estimate based on the items that I could allow for other things. I wrote a partial denial. Like it was a whole thing. And um, it was like the contractor pretty much dismissed it. And then they still came back like, oh, yeah, so you still owe us this. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't. I sent a whole partial denial to the customer and I told the contractor what we weren't covering. So the customer's like, oh, well, I can't pay all this out of pocket. And I'm thinking like, OK, well, if you couldn't have paid it all out of pocket, then you probably shouldn't have let them do the work that wasn't approved. You know, so I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, what I can give him is the recoverable depreciation that is owed because apparently the repairs are done. So I just need photos or a certificate of completion showing that you know work is done 
So I'm waiting for that information from him, but he reached out like asking if there was an update and I was confused because there's no update. The update is what I told you before that we're not covering it. Like, do you want me to resend you the partial denial? So yeah, um, you know, silly stuff like that. And then I had another customer, I think I was telling you guys, I told him to send me a recap of uh, what we discussed so I could, you know, put my note <clears throat> since I took the call on the road. He sent me a couple of emails um, just about like different little things, whatever. So I'm going to address that shortly. But first things first, I got to do the note for that inspection I went on. So I'm going to go on ahead and do that, upload my pictures so I can just kind of get that going. Try to find a contractor that's able to go out there because the contractor I reached out to like ignored me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. But anyways, I'm going ahead and work on this stuff and I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. It has been some hours since I clocked in, or not clocked in. <laughs> uh, it's been some hours since I checked in. Um, I am logged out now. I'm headed to go pick up the baby and get back home to end the evening. But yeah, it got interesting at the end of the day. Basically, I got a letter of representation from a public adjuster. And apparently this public adjuster is um, an a-hole. I don't know if he's like an a-hole i think that they're just like it, from what it sounds like they're like really tough and of course they try to you know get you to pay for a bunch of stuff that's not needed and all that stuff and uh on our conversation i could tell that the guy was like trying to dictate like how the claim was gonna go and here's the thing i don't really be tripping like i'm pretty easy going but at the end of the day this is my claim like yes you are representing the insured and yes you are um you know, trying to get them all the benefits of their policy. I respect it. I completely respect it. But you're not going to come over here and just run what I'm doing. Like, you're not my manager. I don't work for you. So I kind of had to establish that. And it's it's interesting because as a woman in this industry, you do have to kind of like assert your authority in a way. Like not saying that like you run everything and that, you know, you have to be a B-I-T-C-H, but you have to like let people know not to play with you and you got to let them know like right away. So that was kind of what happened. Like he was, he was nice, but like you could tell it was like, like, even when the conversation first started, he's like, oh, like asking me pretty much like, it, like essentially if I'm qualified to handle the claim because it got transferred from another adjuster and it came to my department because it's a complex claim. So he's like, um, you know, based on the uh, the projected dollar amount, he's just like, oh, you know, I just want to make sure that it's not going to get transferred again. Like, you know, what's your experience? What department are you in? Sir, I have the claim, so I'm experienced enough to handle it. So, like, let's just get to the to the business, you know? But anyways, because also, too, my, my title is in my signature. So if you had read the email, you would have seen my title and we wouldn't be having this conversation, sir. Like, what the hell? Anyway. Yeah, so I told my uh, supervisor, and she she actually knows the guy, so she was like, yeah, you know, um, he's cool, we get along, but he is kind of like, you know, an A.O., she said, he can't be tough. I was like, oh, well, he ain't met me. <clears throat> he ain't met me, because I don't play those kind of games. Like, you're not about to punk me. This is not high school, okay? So anyways, yeah, it was uh, a, <laughs> it ended up being a good conversation, but I had to, like, let him know right away, because he was, like, trying to like just dictate everything like oh yeah you're gonna come out on this day you're gonna come out on that day i'm like no i'm gonna come out on this day and this is who i'm gonna bring with me and we're gonna do it this like sir <laughs> sir like let's pipe down a little bit i am not your little puppy but yeah anywho i just wanted to close out the vlog uh before you know tomorrow i might log on tomorrow and do like another vlog like for a friday i don't know yet but i definitely wanted to end this one right here just by saying bye let you know what's going on and you know letting you know to like and subscribe okay if you like the content definitely go on ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and you made it this far i hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and i will see you next time you, you, you mad they don't salute you i need a bag size is super Turn your back, it's like I never knew you leader.